everyone, it's Amy, owner and curator of Yo So Boho. Hello. I hope you're having a great week. We are going to have a kind of a fun day today. If you missed Tuesday's video, I will connect it right up here and down below in the information box. We were in Andover, Ohio, and we were there because it is very close to Pima Tuning Lake Park. Earth and I set up camp there for a long weekend just a couple of weeks ago to attend my nephew's wedding. So congratulations, Lexi and Travis. Uh, it was a beautiful day and I can't even tell you how wonderful the wedding was and how fun the reception was. It was a great weekend. We were camped here for that event. And of course we took a couple extra days to do some sourcing. So on Tuesday you saw three shops right there on the Andover Square. And we found some amazing things, including a little fish that was a huge bolo. <laughs> also, if you missed Saturday, last weekend, go back and watch that one because I also found a great bolo, a George's Briard glass that is worth money and you should be looking out for. And for all of you who said the yellow blouse was your favorite find, I'm wearing it and it's one of mine too. It's so summery, so I had to get it on now and show it off. From what I hear from y'all, yellow is one of my colors, so I appreciate that. I love this. My slab turquoise necklace, I think, looks awesome with it, by the way. All right, let's go back towards Andover Square because I wanna show you this little red barn antique place that I always stop at when we're in town. And then we're gonna hit a garage sale on the way back, maybe take a walk to the lake, and then the next day we're gonna to go to a flea market. So all of that is coming up. Let's get into it. Let's go check out the little red barn. This is one of my favorite places to visit when we come to Andover. I'm hoping that they're open. Do they look open? hope so. Somebody's sitting out here, so hopefully they're open. It's open. It's turning lights on for us. Oh, we well, look at it, so. Look at these cute little doves. Little love doves. Oh, wow. I love them. We're definitely taking that. Okay. <laughs> I remember this piece from last year. This little pie stand. It looks like a little textured hagger. It's a pretty little set. What is that? Holy fanciness, look at this thing. $60 stacking Bombay bins. It is so neat. Oh, look at that old scale. Love the color on that. 1906, it says. Of course, you would be back here with the car stuff. No. And the license plates. I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. What'd you find? Old uh, repair manuals, old Chevette. Uh, what is these things parts these? yeah for classic cars yep you got wow. the voltage regulator you got your alternator and the, and the regulator runs the the regulator runs the alternators it's a six volt it's old school that's probably back before the before the 70s do you know what's funny you know what's in the box i just like the box yeah <laughs> Yeah. No, I'm serious. I like the graphics. Look at the graphics on that box. I know. And the colors. Yeah. <laughs> distributor cap. That old distributor cap. Solar that. repair kit. 55, 56 Chevy. Yeah. Look at the old uh, roller skates. That is pretty. Very old. Gosh, that's pretty. I love that. So whimsical. 75 on that. I remember this shelf with all these beautiful mixing bowls on it. <laughs> look, look at this. Goodies. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Some America. Huh, look at that. That's neat. You know, I have something like that. 
I know who makes those. Well, I can't think of it, but there's somebody who makes those. Who? Um, if you turn it around, they're stamped on the back. Gail Johnson Fine Arts and Crafts. Yeah. Trotwood, Ohio. That's near Cincinnati. Yeah, I got something. I don't remember what it was. I need to hang this in my shop. I was going <laughs> to say, that's pretty cute. There's no uh, price on it, though. No, but you can ask him for a price. That's mine. She bought that for me. Oh! Oh, she, oh I'm sorry. Is. It's not for sale. No, I can't. I, can't. I really no. don't want to sell no. it. That. No, don't, don't it. sell it then. Know, if she I bought it for you, that's... Says, Why do you put that here? I said, because I like to I look at it. it. There you go, and then keep it here you so know, you can see it. My dad had a shop. Oh, okay. okay. I never had a shop. Okay. But I always worked in his shop. Okay. okay. Yeah. So that kind of reminds me of his oh, shop. Oh, sentimental dollar. Aw. Exactly. You should I keep it. it. He tried to buy the man's gift from his wife. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know it didn't say not for sale. I know. I'm it was so cute, though. He was I like... Well, that's kind of mine. My wife bought it for me. <laughs> then he said, "Then when he said his dad used to have a shop, I know." I was like, "Yeah, I was like, I put it." I up. know. So I want to show you guys something real quick. This is the house, and then the barn is behind. That's the antique shop. Ah, oh, this is like a little slice of heaven right here. And then we noticed that next door is a big gas station that it's is been, been years, vacant yeah he said they've been here 20 years they, and it's been vacant it down, to be honest with you. probably you know earth does cars could you imagine here we live here and we have a little antique barn and then look everything all under one roof yeah the next oh, yeah. door he could have a little shop it would be kind of nice guys look at this look at the sunflower field how pretty is that? We're in the farm country. We like it. Look at the sky. Gosh. We get so lucky when we're camping to have this kind of like blue sky, puffy clouds kind of weather. We get pretty lucky on that. It's like 66 degrees today. And it's gorgeous. Gorgeous. What's this? I see a sign and a flag. What's going on? Is it a party? Garage sale. Is it garage sale? Yeah. 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 We found a garage sale. Let's check, check it out. Yeah. Lots of toys and stuff. I'm guessing that they resell. That's my guess. Not really my jam. Do you need some orange puffs? And what? Pom poms? No. Need some more pom poms? No. How about a miniature etch a sketch? No. I kind of want that. Wireless earbuds. Need earbuds? Will you buy me a miniature etch a sketch? For one dollar? For a dollar. <laughs> I'm really glad we stopped here because I got an entire bag full of products. This whole bag is full of stuff. There's like 22 things in here and I opened it up and I said there's like 22 things in here including my oil of Olay that I use on a daily basis that I pay good money for. Two, two big things of it. Wow. I paid $15 for this whole thing. I would have paid more than $15 for two of the whole lace. That's awesome. Yeah. This is what I'm talking about. These. I use this on a daily basis. And this is the six ounce, like the nice big one. And then like some things for camping, like little off 
bug bug thing. And then a whole bunch of products. Oh, and my little Etch-a-Sketch. But like some really good name products. Here's some physician uh, formula. Yeah, some really good stuff. Everything new. Tart. I'll have to look and see if that's expired, but that's a good brand. Anyway, I'm excited. Fifteen dollars, babe. Really? Fifteen dollars. That's awesome. I would have bought this anyway. I would have bought would have spent money on that anyway. That night, we took a little walk down to the lake with the dog, let him get in the water, which he loves. And the next morning we got up and headed to that flea market. Lake Pima tuning. Woo, I'm on a dock that's floating. So I'm <laughs> literally being rocked here. Oh, the dog's decided he wants to go in. His dad said, no swimming today, no swimming today. It settled down quite a bit. We had a storm come through last night. It's been windy today. So lake was kind of choppy. Oh yeah. If I have this hard, it's Oh yeah. It's either it's either soft and he's going to yeah. full, full speed. There's no in between. <laughs> he's not a great leash walker. <laughs> he does. That's creepy. What? Look at down there. What the hell? That's creepy. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> there he goes with his torpedo heater. Did you? Yeah, Acadia and Cali uh, and all of it. You Acadia know. is beautiful. You know what else was nice too? Did you make it down to Bath? Bath Harbor? Yes. That's yeah, nice. I've been there. We've been to pretty much all the harbors. I mean, that Route 1 up the coast, yeah. just stopping anywhere. It is. I don't have anything for you. <laughs> you got some great stuff. Thank you. I'm getting down there. I'm telling. I, have you been here shopping my boot before? I don't remember you. I don't, I don't I know. I get here like once or twice a year, so maybe well, not. not. Yeah. The shape of this spoon is so crazy. It's different, isn't it? It reminds me of like a, a goose's neck or something. Like, it's got a weird shape. What you doing, boy? What you doing, sweet Bella? Oh, what are you doing, bud? You know what's so cool about having him out is that he identifies, like he doesn't really invade people, uh -huh. but as soon as he sees somebody who lo it looks at him, then he's like, okay, you're my friend. <laughs> but like, if you watch when people walk by, he'll just kind of wait. Aww. And if they don't pay him any mind, he just like lets them walk by. This was my favorite vendor at the Whole Flea Market. I could have stood and talked to her. She had amazing things. Her setup was great. Um, she was just a sweetheart and I loved her and so did Mr. Brody. But we bought a few things from her that you'll recognize from that table. First, of course I had to grab this beautiful spoon. This is very reminiscent of the Nutcracker, the carved Nutcracker that I bought on Tuesday has a very similar pattern. So I'm gonna guess that this may be from that same area and I believe that Nutcracker was made in Yugoslavia. Look at the details on that and it's just a really cool shape. I think it might need a little bit of food safe oil to kind of bring out the beauty in it 
it's very um, raw. So I just think it needs a little bit of a finish to use it if you wanted to use it. But my gosh, it's so awesome. I had to grab it. There's just something about an older piece that is mixed. So wood and metal or glass and cork or metal and glass. <laughs> Anytime that you use two or three different materials together, um, it just draws my attention. Not only that, but look at the shape of this bowl. Isn't that beautiful? That little curved handle. The design is just awesome. It has no markings on it, but I believe in my research, I discovered that this is cherry wood and I found this as part of a set. They called it a condiment bowl. I'm not sure if that's accurate, but it was shown with another larger bowl in this shape and individual bowls. So almost like a salad with salad bowls. And then I guess maybe this could have been a condiment bowl, but I think on its own, it is glorious mid-century and should be used for something on a daily basis, either a catch-all or maybe on a shelf, it could hold something. I absolutely love it. And the color and the shape is just dynamo. Then I grabbed this. I've been keeping an eye out for one of these. I don't know if I'm gonna use it for a window or not, but that's what it's for. It actually extends and you can put a curtain panel on it that will swing out because you can put this in a hinge, just a little swinging hinge. It swings out so you can close it, put it in front of the window or bring it out. And the Art Deco design on this is just fantastic. I think I'm gonna repurpose it for something else. Um, this would make a great little sign post, right? I think that's what I'm gonna use it for. So to be determined, little repurpose uh, swinging curtain rod. And I love it. She had these two beautiful pieces with the matching bluebirds up here. I loved these. They're just so simple. This one is shallow. The other one is larger and more of a bowl. I'll show you that next. But they're just so nice that for the price she had on them, I decided I was gonna go ahead and pick them up. I don't know yet where they're going, maybe over to the booth because they are so large. I might ship them though. I think I would. I don't know if I'd ship them together because this one is so big. <laughs> Look at the size of this. Eek! But it's so awesome. And I know a lot of people decorate in blue and white and the simplicity of this with just that one little bird. I do think that somebody will love this. You could use this as a console and do something in it or you could display it or you could serve in it, right? But look at that little detail. So beautiful. I really enjoyed her and I hope to run into her again. The next booth that we went to, as we were approaching, we heard the woman say that everything in her area was 50% off. She was trying to get rid of a bunch of stuff because she was ready to hit the road and go to a couple of shows. So maybe she's headed to Springfield here in the next week. Let's go take a look and see what we found there. This is fun. She had a table full of things that came out of an estate that were like new in box but old stock. So this is a set of four Oneida plastic 14 ounce cups. They're so neat. From 1987. Did anybody have these? I remember seeing these back then. Uh, we didn't have them, but I remember them. 
but how cool is that? New old stock, brand new in the box. Uh, I have not seen these out there anywhere, new old stock, but I did find another set. I want to say they had like sailboats on them and they sold for 40 bucks. So these are going to go onto eBay right about $40 saw this sitting down underneath the other box of cups that I got. This is also new in the box, never opened, still in the styrofoam. I'm not even going to get them out. You can see them right here. It is an adorable little bear wine holder and a little moose <laughs> stopper. These are made by Sonoma and this is the Lodge wine bottle holder. She had $3 on this, which meant $1.50. And this is also gonna go over to eBay. I found something similar in the $20 to $25 range. So new in the box like this, uh, I think I'm gonna put it over there right about $22.99 or something like that, right in between. Look at this guy. I think he's just made to look old, but he is cool. He has a kind of cool, primitive, rustic look to him. He's not old. He might be vintage, but he's definitely not as old as he's made to look. But he does have some cool details. He has this crackled wooden look to him. He has the metal in his mane. And then this is actually leather here. And he has a chain where he can be hung up. So I think the chain might need fixed. It's about the same length here so i don't know if it's meant to hang like this or if you know it should be attached here but that's easy enough to do it's just a link um there is another one listed on ebay for like 52 dollars which is crazy to me i don't think he's worth 52 dollars <laughs> I will be listing him over there for probably half of that because I'm looking at the quality of him and he's good, but he's not $50 good. <laughs> I don't think anyone's gonna be tricked by that. So that's where he's headed. I was walking away and I saw this guy. So we're gonna take him with us too. Yeah. Take a look. I did buy this ceramic light up piece. It was very nice. And I think it was a JCPenney's piece. It has been taken over to my booth because I needed to get all my fall and Halloween stuff in there right now. That's because everybody's buying it right now. And then I got another piece because she directed me to the back of her booth where she had a fiber optic scarecrow couple, one pushing the other one in like a wheelbarrow. Super cute. I bought that one too. I think it was even $5 as well. So I got great deals on those. They're both over at the shop. I want to say they're somewhere in the price range of 25 to, I think the fiber optic one is like 36 or 38. But yeah, that was a great little find to get into my booth right before the holiday. And I did pick up one more thing from her. This was just 50 cents. She had a dollar on it. And I think that's because it has a tiny little chip right here. Um, but look at how beautiful that little piece of Tonala is. It is signed on the bottom. Those were the deals at the flea market. Earth spent more than me. <laughs> he got that amazing big heater at the very beginning. And I think he took about four trips to the truck because he kept buying stuff that he was finding. And that's great when you can find stuff, especially for you know what he does he works on cars and he has a garage for flea market prices that's awesome and i love that he looks for that stuff and that he finds it it's so cool so that was it everybody that was our wedding weekend it was a great one we had beautiful weather and a wonderful time and we haven't camped a lot this summer yet it's been a really kind of non-summery summer. <laughs> Both of us have been working and we really need to get back out and take a longer trip. I'm hoping to do that maybe in October. Of course, we'll be taking the RV down to Springfield, which is going to be happening in a very short time, like next week. Um, you're seeing this on Thursday, so next Thursday we will actually be there. Um, I'm excited about that. I'm excited to see everybody. If you are planning to be at Springfield, please email me. Right here's my address so that we can coordinate a meetup and I can get a big hug. 
Um, I would love to see you if you're heading that direction. And I'm really excited about seeing all of my reseller friends. Um, I'm not gonna list them because I'm not 100% on who all is coming, but I am excited about the ones that I know for sure are coming. And yeah, that's in a week. Oh my gosh, I better get ready for that. <laughs> all right, everybody, thank you so much for watching. I will see you again maybe Saturday. Until then, please take care.